Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the difference between the child nodes and also the children. So let's find the difference between these two. We know that children are just elements that are directly nested below another element. So we have a parent and directly nested elements are called as in children. So we know about this concept. An HTML element may have many levels of other elements nested under it. All of these nested elements are called as descendants of our starting element. So normally if you take any HTML element, it will have a direct children and those children have again another nested children second for it. So these are called as a descendants, normally in our thing called as a descendants of our starting element. A child element importantly can only ever have one parent. So this is one the child element. If you are having a child element, means it importantly it should have only it should have a always it will have only one parent. We know that all text in your HTML is also a text node in the DOM. So we know that every element will have a text element, text data, and that is called as a text node. So the every HTML element will have a text node. So in the DOM, when we try to access its first child and last child thinking that it was going to return null. Whenever you are having an h1 element, if you try to see h1 element or anything, let me show you. For example, if you are trying to access this h2, so this h2 is an element and for this one, when you are trying to access the first child or the last child, so you will think that there doesn't have any children, but actually the text node is also a children for this one. When you access this one using first child or last child, you think that this will return null for the h2 but actually it will return a text node so that is the thing which i want to try to explain you so here yeah when we try to access its first child or and last child thinking that it was going to return null but it actually returned the text itself because the text itself is a child so that is the thing so we need to know about the first child and the last child methods we have already learned about these methods but when you want to get an element you need to try with an first element child so that also i have shown you Let's look at the methods children and the child nodes and its difference. So now we are discussing about the children and the child nodes method, right? So let's try to learn the difference between these two children and the child nodes. If you use the child nodes, it's going to return a node list and node list can contain any type of node. We have already learned about the node list. So the different written types, HTML collection and also the node list we have seen it. So when you use the child nodes method for an element, it will return a node list and the node list you need to understand that it contains any type of node like comment node, text node, element node, any node it will contain. Whereas if you look at the children property, so when you are using this children property, we know that it returns an HTML collection and we know that we can access children method on any element because it is a property of an element. So when you are using the children method, so children property other than child node, so it will return HTML collection. It will not return a node list collection. It will return an HTML collection. And we know that we can access children method on any element. Any element means element node. We can access the children method only on an element node. And because of this, we know that these children are all of type element. It only contains an element type. Child nodes contains any type of no element nodes, but here it will contain only the element node only. So this, pro this method will return you all the element nodes, only the element nodes. The biggest difference between child nodes and the children is that child nodes return a node list of any type of node. Using the children method, on the other hand, we only return a element node. So this is the difference between the child nodes and the children nodes. Child nodes will return node list and it contains any type of nodes. And the children node and the children method, on the other hand, will return only an element node. So let's try to see the practical implementation of this one. So I am closing this one. So let's go to the Visual Studio code. Here the same example I am taking and here I am having a div element. So let's take here ul element and in this one I am having li. So let's take item 1 and here item 2 and here item 3. So just we are having an ul element with li items like this. So now we have this ul element right. Let's see this one in the output. So here if you try to see in this output and here you will be having let's move this one at the side. Yeah, here we are able to see it, right? And I will try to zoom it a little bit. Yeah, these are the item 1, item 2 and item 3. So if you want to catch this element, so how can we catch it? 
so we know the different access methods uh, we have learned it so right now we are having only one one element with the element tag ul so we can catch it like this let ul is equal to document dot get get elements by tag name by tag name of ul so i am catching with the ul so this is the ul so we are getting a html collection so we are able to get it now let's try to apply child notes ul dot child notes so if i apply ul dot child notes what is this one i'm getting let's try to take ul yeah so here instead of applying this one so we got an html collection right so we will take the first element so child notes work in the element node in right so now we have a ul collection so we got the ul element and now if you want to get the children for this ul element so what is the first one ul dot child nodes we have already seen about this one ul dot child nodes now if you try to see here when you access this ul dot child nodes it has given you a node list the return type for this one is a node list and it has written all the different types of nodes here you can see the text node li node text node li like this so we know that we are having three li's and three li's are written and these text nodes are nothing but the gaps so here you'll be able to see right so here this is the gap and this is the second gap so these are also are written as a children yes it's correct so these are all the also the child nodes right if you try to see the node value for this one the slash n and the gap so jail nodes returns this one so now if i want to change the color for this for, for this item one what i can do here so if you want to change it so here i can use ul dot first element child i can access this one using ul dot first element child dot style dot background color i can use it like background color and i can apply this one as red so this is fine it is applying but what about this one so if i want to loop over the each li item and i want to apply some styles or something like that so what can i do so here ul dot child nodes will not do right so we are getting all the different types of nodes and here we need to have only the element nodes only so for this one we have an another method that is nothing but ul dot children so if you want to access only the element nodes so here it is written this time html collection the children method is written in the html collection and this has only the li items now we can loop over the each li item and we can apply the styles for this one if you want to loop over what i can do so far let or otherwise i can do here let ul children is equal to ul dot children i can save it in one variable so ul children so let's try to keep it this simple yeah. and here i can loop over for let i is equal to 0 i less than ul children dot length so we know that length property will be available and here i can do something like ul children you are not url children ul children ul children of 0 sorry this time i dot style dot border color so this time i will apply border color is equal to blue or something like this if i press enter see all the ul items elements has been converted into blue color so if you want to access only the element che element no element child element uh, nodes in there in an <coughs> parent means so you need to use this ul dot children or otherwise if you want to get all the child nodes available in that one means so you need to use the child nodes so this is the difference between the child nodes and the children hope you understood about the difference between those two if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you